Hello, good morning, my sassy fitness queens. How are y'all doing today? I am doing marvelous, if I must say so myself. <laughs> um, I want to come to you ladies today and talk to you about portion control. What led me to this topic today is I actually spoke with a client who has had some questions about how to properly um, portion her food and how to properly eat um, to get the most out of her fitness lifestyle. Now, she's been to a camp of mine, but she wants to do more. And um, one thing that I told her that portion control is very important. I told her, she asked, and I get this question a lot, um, what should I cut out of my diet? Personally, I don't believe in completely cutting things out of your diet. I believe in reducing the intake of the thing, but not completely cutting the thing out. And the reason I feel that way, and the reason I believe strongly in that, is because when you completely cut things out of your diet that you've been used to consuming for so long, you go into deprivation mode, and you either have a relapse and you end up consuming more than you ever have, or you just relapse and you just never get to where you want to be. Case in point, if you're one that likes to drink like two or three sodas a day and you come to me and you say, hey, um, should I cut sodas out of my diet? I'm not going to say yes, you should cut sodas out of your diet. Now, sodas are not good for you. It has a lot of sugar in it. But what I would suggest is rather than having two or three sodas a day, have one with your lunch or something. because that way your body doesn't feel completely deprived and then i would say do that for a week see how you feel and then if you can do like one soda every other day or something like that until you're down to like maybe one soda or one or two sodas a week and some people will be able to completely come off of drinking sodas because again soda is not good for you it doesn't matter if it's diet soda regular soda soda is not good for you i believe diet soda is worse because the artificial sugars are not good it can cause cancer so many things in the artificial sugars that are more detrimental to your health than regular sugar so one thing that i like to leave with you ladies today is think about the portions of food that you're eating our stomachs are only so big so if you're eating more than you should in one sitting you're essentially stretching your stomach and that's where the big stomach comes in and a lot of us are like oh I want a flat stomach but if you eat and you say god I'm full but this is so good and you continue to eat you're stretching your stomach I just came off of an amazing cruise vacation it was my very first cruise and I had an absolute blast and there was food galore like every time you turned around there was a buffet open and not once did I feel tempted to overindulge in food I ate things that I don't normally eat every day <clears throat> but I ate it in portion for instance they had like a burger bar a burger Thing, and it was really good and I had a burger every day but I would have a burger and fries and then I would wait two and a half three hours and then eat something different so it's not like like I saw some people eating like two burgers and fries and then right after they're done they'll go back and get two more burgers so essentially four burgers and two servings of fries in one sitting that's over indulging and I call it stuff in your face I believe that excuse me I believe that one can enjoy um, eating foods that they love without stuffing their face and by stuffing your face I mean like just overeating in one sitting because me I for one I love ice cream yes I do <laughs> I love ice cream but it's not that I'm, I'm not gonna eat ice cream every day and I'm not gonna eat like a big massive serving of ice cream and eat enough to feel satisfied and keep it moving you can definitely enjoy food the lady <coughs> excuse me the lady that asked me about she's like i just have to ask you this <coughs> excuse me something i guess got in my throat but she said i just have to ask you do you eat fried chicken i said heck yeah i eat fried chicken <coughs> she said but just not massive amount i said no i said every once in a while i may want some fried chicken from Publix or Popeyes but 
it's not all the time. Like every once in a while, I'll be like, you know what? I have a taste for some Popeyes, and I love wings. So when I go to Popeyes, I'll get wings. But you won't see me going to Popeyes every day. You won't see me going once a month. It's like whenever I feel like. <clears throat> I have a taste for Popeyes and my rule of thumb for myself and you can feel free to adopt this um, in your own life if you so choose but my rule of thumb is to eat more healthy than you do bad and I don't really like to call it bad I call it a treat I always say a treat day or a treat food or something like that whenever oh I can have a tr my treat you know something that I enjoy <clears throat> but if I if it's seven days in a week five of those seven days I'm eating what I you know the things that are essential for my body fruit vegetables um protein things like that and on the weekend I might want some pizza or I might want some fried chicken or some wings or whatever I definitely enjoy life I don't feel like I'm missing out but I eat more of the right things than I do the treats so if you're eating more treats if you're treating yourself with foods more than you're eating what your body really needs that is what's going to display on the outside and it can also and it will definitely affect you on the inside you need to make sure you're drinking water i have heard so many times people say man i, I realize i don't drink water i don't like water i'll drink tea every day i'll drink juice every day i'll drink milk i'll drink coffee i'll drink this and that not once do i hear water i'm like well how much water are you drinking mm, i don't like water well water is an essential nutrient and drinking water alone will help you lose weight <clears throat> before anything else you just cleanse yourself flush all that out you'll be amazed by at least drinking a half a gallon of water two liters of water whatever drinking water is essential for your life so what i want to leave with you ladies today is just watch your portions if you feel satisfied with what you've eaten in that one sitting drink water and you'll be just fine. A couple hours later, if you have a big portion on your plate and you want to save the rest for later, save it for later. You know, you can enjoy foods without overindulging. If you like this video, please hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous rest of your day. <laughs>